Hi everybody, it's Tammy and welcome back once again to my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage. Last week I shared with you all of my little vintage finds from over the weekend and I promised you we would do something with these amazing little frames. So um, I've got some little like vintage minis and we are going to transform this into a little mini shadow box. This one here, I'm going to use one of my crafting mistakes and we're just going to see what happens. Okay, so we're going to do that. And also, um, I just kind of wanted to give you a little heads up on what's on the horizon for the upcoming vintage bundles. I know you guys have been excited about that. In the comments, you said, when are they coming? So I'm going to kind of let you know what's going on there. Maybe we'll look at a couple of them too, just like a little bit of a sneak peek. And um, so I'm excited to share these little frames with you. And let's transform them into little mini vintage shadow boxes. All right, so the first step to this is um, just basically taking it apart. There were some screws in the back and then removing those. And let's separate this out. All right, what inspired me for Shadow Box was when I seen this glass, it um, has a real domed effect to it. And if it is in here the way it's meant to be, there's there's really not much room behind it to do anything. But I was thinking outside the box a little bit, and when I laid it on the top right here, it definitely uh, added some room underneath. Now, you couldn't add anything huge under there, of course, but you can find some little minis that are going to fit under here just fine. Okay, so let's just... Let's use this frame as kind of a guide here because I want to do a background and um, I found this scrap of an embroidered uh, doily and so just laying this frame on here you can kind of get an idea what the background will look like which I love that I mean even look isn't that just pretty by itself you know so pretty so I think I'll go with the one with the most embroidery why not right and so let's take our little piece here, this is kind of irregular, so I'm going to get on here as best that I can. Let's grab a pencil and trace around it. So we have a little bit of a guideline here, of course, for where we want to cut. And this is going to be our background. Scissor and cut. Yes, yeah, so I told you guys I knew where these picture frames came from because I had a little collection of the Cameo Creations. They're like from the 60s. They were um, pictures of women, the 18th and 19th century nobility. It was just one of those affordable little ways to have a sweet little art collection. So and the frames like have a real vintagey type feel about them to go with the ladies pictures of course okay so there we go we've got a nice little square there and this is going to be our background i'm choosing to use a stick glue on this i was thinking about using my fabric fix or um or look i'm not going to use the glue gun but um fabric fix sometimes will kind of bleed through and look a little wet oops let me go there buddy okay and this usually will do the trick every time. All right, so let's take and lay this right here for our background. Now, you know, I took screws out of here. So, um, let me see. I thought it might be a good idea if I could punch through this fabric just a little bit so when those screws go in, they won't bunch the fabric up and they'll kind of go right in. I'm using a mat so I'm not sticking this all into my table. But there I did. I got some little, we got some little holes for those screws. Oh, that'll work perfect. See that? That'll work. Okay. All right. There's our background. Now let's add some little vintage goodies to that. Why don't we? Let's lay this right here because this is going to be our guide for our layout and okay isn't she cute <laughs> she's bisque she's darling i've had this for a really long time and i've always looked for the right project to use this because 
I think this is the right project actually right there gorgeous um, we've got a little piece of broken rhinestone jewelry um, oh this is like a little bundle of uh, vintage flowers I think these came off of a hat and I made like a little tie out of some ribbon just so it's just like on the flower like that and um, okay and then I, this is just a scrap from an old envelope and rubber stamp, vintage girl. Here we go. Let's just do a little stamp. I love stamping on the old paper. There's just something about it. It's just way better. So I have a little vintage girl stamp, which you guys, I made one of these ahead of time. So I've got it right here, all cut out and ready for us. And look at that right there. Isn't that just so cute? I'll kind of zoom in so you can see it a little bit. Okay, you guys, you know when I was just doing my fancy zooming in thing? Well, um, I turned my camera off and I was just just working away here, talking to you and realized that my camera wasn't even on. But it, I, I didn't get too far before I realized it. So what I did was I got my glue gun and where we placed everything that we were talking about, I went ahead and just glued it down. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be because when I looked up and saw that, I was like, oh, no. I can't believe I did that but anyway so let's let's put this back in its frame and this should tuck right in here um, I'll grab let me put a screw in and uh, just tighten this up a little bit so it'll just make it easier to flip it over and work with it all right let me put two screws in and then I'll just I'm just gonna come back and put the other two in once we finish it all up just to save us a little time. And I poked those holes in there so our screws should go in nicely. Okay, let's give it a flip. All right, so here's our beautiful domed glass that we're gonna lay right here on top. I am going to use a little bit of E6000 and let's just take and put a little dollop of that right there on that old paper. I got a toothpick here and um, I'm going to just put this at a few little points here where the glass is going to hit. I don't think we have to go too crazy with it. I think maybe four little points right here should hold this glass in place very well. Maybe one more little guy right over here on this side, like on all four points. All right, make sure I don't have any glue on my hands so I don't mess up the glass. And carefully, moment of truth, lay it right on in place right there. And it's laying on that glue on all four points. Okay, and we're going to have to let this dry. Got a little bit on there, but I'm going to wipe it right off. Okay, good. Okay. We're gonna let that dry, but what do you guys think? Didn't that turn out just so adorable, okay? So I have one more for you with my crafting mistake. Let me show you that. I wanted to just give a little shout out to one of my subscribers real quick. Um, this beautiful card came from the lovely Gail. Isn't that gorgeous with the mama deer and the baby deer, which by the way, you guys, two days ago, I looked out my kitchen window and there was a baby deer in the backyard and I, oh, my heart just stopped. I'm like, oh, I hope the mommy's there, please, please. And, but she was there, all was well, but oh, just seeing that is one of the most gorgeous things to me in the whole world. So anyway, Gail sent me this lovely card and she sent me some pictures as well. She has a little shed that she's been working on. It's for her crafting to share with crafting with her granddaughter and uh it's some picture up another picture of some of the things that she got from my etsy shop they're going to craft with and so gail thank you for making my day because you totally did that was so sweet of you just beautiful i'm going to display that beautiful card in my craft room okay so we have another frame identical to the other one we've got that same dome glass um, this time I'm going to use a piece of um, cardstock. I've got like some pink cardstock here and I just basically just cut this so it was the same size as the back of this frame. Okay, so what I got here, I told you I had a crafting mistake, right? This is a big thick piece of wood. I painted it gold. I did a decoupage of the Blessed Mother on here. 
I loved this and I thought, okay, I'm going to take my thick spray gloss and I'm going to put a bunch of coats on it and make this all glossy and beautiful. Well, it really didn't work the way I thought it would. Um, I have to go back to the drawing board and, uh, it, and try a different technique, of course. And it kind of puddled here around the edges, and but it was too pretty to throw away. So I just put it back in the drawer. And um, so I pulled it out and let's lay it. Here's our background right here. Let's lay her right here inside. Let's take the dome of glass and put it over the top. And my, oh my, she is absolutely beautiful. And I had a little gold cross here, which I will probably glue right here. I have a collection of vintage Blessed Mothers and religious artifacts, and um, which I love. And I think I'm just going to add this to the collection. If I don't, it will be going into my upcoming sale. This one is going to be there in my uh, vintage bundle sale that's coming up. So this will definitely be for sale. This might be for sale. I don't know. I might have to <laughs> steal it back. But anyway, I would use the same technique on this, you guys. You know, putting my back on, gluing this on, gluing that. And and she she really is stunning. I The frame just makes it really beautiful. Okay, so I'll finish putting her back together off camera. But I promise to share with you. Here, let me just get this out of the way and tell you a little bit about my upcoming vintage bundles, okay? So what my vintage bundles are is um, right here, for example, this is a little Nancy Ann with some seam binding ribbon, a, a vintage pin, an old doily. This one here is, um, this is really cute. This is a little ballet cup and saucer of um, little vintage ballerinas. Isn't that just so sweet? vintage pack of birthday candles and then inside here are the little um, candle holders in pink with the little ballerina that's one of my bundles um, I'm gonna have things like this this is just a wonderful old box and inside there is doll and jewelry and old flowers and old ephemera I'm going to have ephemera packs of uh, things you can make tags with and one of the things I'm going to have is uh, from my husband, I started grabbing some vintage bottles. So I will have some vintage bottle bundles as well. And it'll be the old bottle. There's old photograph, old postcards and jewelry. Those will be like my vintage um, bottle bundles. So in my next video that's coming up, I am going to show you, basically, we're going to walk through all the bundles. I'm going to tell you a day and a time that all of this is going to be in my Etsy shop and ready for sale. I'm not going to just, like, have a video and say, oh, yeah, it's all out there. And, you know, if you miss the video, you miss the sale. So everyone will have a chance because there will be a day, a said day and time. And then I'll walk through everything so you can kind of get an idea what's going to be available and if it's something that you're interested in. So that's going to be my next video be sure to stop in for that one you're gonna love that one I've put a lot of bundles together and I'm still working on them because I wanted to get as many done as I could okay so and it takes a little time I feel like I curate each one of these to be extra special and if if I don't feel like they're special enough they're then it's not good enough for you guys so I will you know I will just do my best to make everything really really nice for you Thank you for stopping in today and enjoying this adorable little shadow box. And of course, this beautiful one right here from a crafting mistake. If you like that little decoupage that I did there and um, I have some other ideas what to do with that, let me know in the comments and I can show you how I did that. And uh, maybe we'll make a few things out of that. That would be really cute. So thank you guys so much for stopping in today and I will see you in the next video and we're going to go over all these bundles and um, show you what I got. And until then, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Music